Hello everyone, today we are going to build a small application where we try to build this application here. So we have here some kind of bus information on the top and below we have a route between the starting point and the destination and between we have many stops. So let's try it and try to accomplish it with Flutter. The first thing we want to build is this widget here on the left side. So we will create an icon and a text and also a background color. We go here and create our widget, which we call stop batch widget. And here we create a constructor with different kinds of information. This icon here is the icon which is shown here on the left side. Then we have an icon text, which is this here. Then we have an icon color, which is the color of our icon here. And also background color, which is the background color of our text. In our build method, we have a row so that we can show multiple widgets next to each other. So first of all, we have an icon here, like it is shown here. Then we have a little bit spacing, which is the spacing here between. And then we have a text widget, which is the text. Then we create here a text, which is the normal text without a background color. But sometimes we want to show a background color. If we set here background color, we also want to share it. And we create here the switcher, so if the background color is null, then we go and just return the text. But if the background color is not null, then we want to have a background color. So we have here our decoration, where we set the background color and also a circular border, like it is shown here on our sample image. So we will create another widget here, which we call bus info widget. And here we have different kind of information. We have a start, stop, we have an end stop, and we have a duration. The duration is the text which is shown here on the right side. And then we have a start and also an end. So if we go here, we have different kind of information. A stop is every time this information here. So we have a title. We have sometimes a subtitle. We have a color of this line here and also of this icon. We have an icon text and we also have some kind of information about the icon. So if it's a walk, bus or destination icon, like it is shown here on the left side. And we also have a stop number, which means this is here the first stop. This is the last stop and all stops between are normal stops so that we can differentiate them later in our UI. So the next thing what we do is to create here our badges. So we create here a row where we show the first batch, the starting batch, and then we have here a little bit spacing between. Then we show this icon here, which is also shown here. I have chosen to display it in white instead of this color here. And then again, we show a little bit spacing between these elements here. And then we have our stop batch, which is the last batch here. We also need to go to our main file and create this bus info widget here and supply it with some data which I have stored in this file here. So I have here different kind of stops already defined. And if we hot restart the application, we see it like this. We have here this text. We have also the icons which are shown in white. So the next thing what we need to do is to set a background color so that we actually see the icons. So we go back to our bus info widget. And here we just create another widget which is called colored card and we set here the background color and also a circular border and a little bit padding around it. Then we need to surround our batches here with a colored card. After we reload it, it looks like this, much better. But we also miss here the duration on the right side. So we add here another row where we expand our normal batches, what we had before. And we added another text where we just show the duration in minutes, like it is shown here on the right side. Now we want to go ahead and create this widget here where we have the icon here, then the line and also the title and the text. So we call it stop widget, stop widget. And we also create another widget which is called bus get your widget. And here in this widget we get stops as a parameter. So we have multiple stops and we want to show a padding around it. And then we want to show all the stop widgets underneath. So we create here a column and 
there we create our stop widget which we created before uh, um, the stop widget which we created before also need a stop parameter now we also have here stop parameter and in our stop widget we also create this batch method we create this batch here we could reuse it here but i wanted to change a little bit and so it doesn't really matter if we copy paste it or not so we go here and create this icon again a little bit spacing between and then we show our text i also need to add this here to our build method in our main file we want to add this widget which we created before so we add here a column and under our bus info widget we want to show this new widget so we go here with our bus schedule widget and if we hot restart it it looks currently like this so we have here our batches and sometimes we have only icons because we have not supplied it with the title and i also set it here to a list view so that if there are many stops we can later scroll it around and we also needed to set here expanded to say this column here which have this widget and this widget to say that this widget needs the rest of the space if we compare the current application with the plan what we want this application to look like it's not right so we need to shift this images here to the left side and center them so what we do here is we wrap our batch into a container and here we set the width and hot reload it and now it looks much better because we have this batches underneath and also these batches are centered so we need a little bit spacing later but for the beginning it looks just great hello everyone thank you so much for watching this video please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about flutter and see you soon bye